Hello, I'm John Brown, Coordinator of Facilities Management for MKC, and I'm going to be sharing with you some of our latest facility improvements and construction projects that have been completed in the last year and a half. I'll also be talking about construction projects that will be taking place in the near future. Construction of a 6,000 square foot warehouse was completed in the spring of 2012 in Abilene. This facility houses bulk and bag seed along with seed treatment equipment. Bulk seed storage space was increased this past spring with the addition of a 4,000 unit seed bin, bringing total storage capacity to 13,000 units. A grain bunker with a capacity of 365,000 bushels of storage was added at Bennington in the spring of 2012. This is filled by a high speed unloading conveyor system. The manual probe system at Bennington was also replaced with mechanical grain probe, improving service time on the scale for our customers. Upgrades to the conveyors at our Groveland facility were completed in the spring of 2013. Every tank on site can now receive grain at a maximum capacity of 20,000 bushels per hour. In the spring of 2013, we broke ground on a 1.2 million bushel Lamar storage system. This is a ground storage system that fills at 20,000 bushels per hour and has a self-lifting cover. This 1.2 million bushel storage pile can be filled and covered in less than three days. A second scale was added at Lindsburg in the spring of 2012, improving the flow of traffic and reducing wait times. Traffic patterns at Longford were completely redesigned in the spring of 2013. In the past, large trucks couldn't enter our facility without backing in. The layout of our new office and scale now make it very easy for trucks to enter or leave our facility without bottlenecks occurring. In the spring of 2012, MKC acquired 20 acres just north of our elevator in Marquette, where two grain bunkers totaling 450,000 bushel storage space each were added. These bunkers are filled by a high-speed unloading conveyor that can move grain at 15,000 bushels per hour. The anhydrous plant in Mound Ridge was replumbed in the winter of 2012. As a result, customers now experience faster loading times. In February, Mound Ridge broke ground on a second scale. The new 12 by 80 scale has improved traffic patterns and unloading times, allowing the customers to return to the field faster. In the summer of 2012, we began many projects in Talmadge, Kansas. Upgrades to the liquid fertilizer plant were completed by MKC employees. That same winter, an anhydrous facility was also added. This was another project that was completed by MKC team members. Upgrades to the grain facility started in March of 2013. This consisted of adding an additional 18,000 bushel per hour leg, a new distributor, and spouting. Prior to the upgrade, we were handling grain at approximately 6,000 bushels per hour. Now we are doing so at approximately 25,000 bushels per hour. In June of 2013, we broke ground on a new 386,000 bushel concrete storage bin at Talmadge, which is expected to be completed before fall harvest. Also planned for Talmadge is the new office and an additional second scale added to help improve truck traffic and unloading times. An additional 12,000 units of seed storage was completed in the spring of 2012 at Walton. In addition, the traffic flow was redesigned improving the speed for our customer pickup times. That same winter, an upgrade to our elevator leg was completed, improving the speed from 6,000 bushels per hour to 15,000. Traffic patterns and unloading time were also improved with the installation of two new scales and a mechanical probe. Construction of three high-speed grain facilities is scheduled to start later this summer, located in Rice, McPherson, and Butler counties. The facilities will house a combined total of nearly 6.5 million bushels of grain. The facility in McPherson County is a joint venture between MKC and CHS and will be a high-speed shuttle loading facility. Located two miles west of Canton on the Union Pacific Rail Line, it is estimated that 15 to 20 million bushels of grain will be loaded out on an annual basis to export facilities in the Pacific Northwest, Gulf Coast, and Mexico. The facility in Rice County will be located five miles south of Lyons. The high-speed, dual-scale facility will be designed to receive multiple grains quickly and efficiently and will provide long-term storage opportunities. The construction of three steel storage tanks near Benton is expected to begin in mid-August. Located approximately one and a half miles west of Benton on Butler Road, 
This will also be a high speed dual scale facility. It is because of your support that we have completed these upgrades and projects. We look forward to your continued support and future projects.